Hello and welcome to Heavy Metal Rex. My name is Oase and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at yet another variation of the 2024 WRX that is coming out. Now, for some of you that don't know, the WRX TR is set to release very soon, or actually I think many people have already gotten their cars here like just this week. I actually saw on Facebook, uh, three people so far have picked up a WRX TR over in California that I saw. I myself will actually be driving a WXTR, I believe the first week of April. My dealership here and I, we finally, finally put together uh, a collaboration to where they're gonna allow me to try out some of their cars, including an automatic, which I still haven't driven a GT, which I can't believe this car's been out almost two years and I haven't been able to get my hands on one. So that's coming. The WXTR review, as soon as it lands, they're gonna let me drive it, I cannot wait. Now this leads me to another piece. We're gonna go to our friends in Australia who are actually getting this. This is called the 2024 WRX Club Spec. And interestingly enough, it gets an STI wing, which I think we need to just stop calling it an STI wing. I think at this point it's just, it's just a Subaru wing. I don't know if STI actually designed it, but if it did, either way, they have it. Not in, uh, Australia is getting it, and also the Japanese model is also getting a wing. For some reason, the market research that happened in Australia and Japan said they like the wing, unlike people in America who see a WRX with a wing and then just lose their damn mind. I don't know what that is. I don't know how people get so upset about just pieces of plastic. Anyway, what's different with the club spec versus the TR? Actually, nothing uh, besides the wing. The club spec is pretty much something that Australia uh, has had since like 1997. And we'll look a little bit more at the history. So. Not a lot of differences. Uh, it, this gets everything the TR gets. You know, you've got the, the bigger 19 inch wheels, you've got the Bridgestone tires, the 007 PS. Uh, you have the Brembos, obviously, the bigger rotors, the, the uh, larger brake master cylinder. Uh, of course, in this case, we have this wonderful, wonderful STI wing, which they say they made some changes to it, but the biggest thing that's gonna be beneficial for the rest of us in the world is we will have a one-piece wing that we can now buy from Subaru, and hopefully they actually give this as a factory installed option instead of having it just you know, having you buy the car and then pick it up at a later time. Still would be really cool because I almost feel like if this was an option when the car first came out, uh, instead of the the trunk lid spoiler, I chances are I probably would have picked one up myself. I know, I know. So not a whole lot of differences. I know people were thinking that there was gonna be a refresh or something special with the TR. Uh, no, that's not changing. So what I wanted to look at was what was the club spec? Because when I first saw it, I, was, I thought that this was just something how uh, the GT is the TS in Canada and other places. Well, it looks like the club spec is kind of a tradition that Subaru does in um, Australia. And what's really interesting, it goes all the way back to, as you can see here, I, I was able to find this, this fantastic website that has like a list of almost all types of WRXs and, and STIs that have ever been built, which is a great site. I'll actually put this in the description. It's fun to look at just just for like knowledge purposes, but it has listed, as you can see, 97, 98, 99. Every year they came out with a club spec, but what's even funnier, they actually put the Evo name after it, which I don't even know why, because obviously the whole like Mitsubishi Evo um, rivalry, so I thought that was pretty funny. So what was so different back in 1997 and what is the club spec? Because when the TR name came out, people would harken back to the 2006, 2007 TR model, which was tuner ready. Uh, more stripped down version of the car, which we did talk about in my, my very, like one of the many TR videos I've made. So here, what did they do? All they did was they had a very specific color. They named it club spec. They only made 200 of these cars and they came with a very specific um, wheel color on the wheel finish and the color of the car itself. And it looks like they added a couple of things here too, like uh, uh, one of them added one of them. This right. One of them added a CD player. That was the big change. But now the thing, but what makes these cars special is they are all actually numbered. There's only a set number of these that get sold. And I think with the latest one, I think they're only selling 150. I'll, I'll look that up and put it on the screen. So 98, they added a couple of things, made the wheels a little bit bigger. They added very specific seat and door linings with the 555 logo, a very specific steering wheel, and uh, you know a club spec sticker. You know why not? You got to have stickers. Uh, then in 1999, they just had a different color. That's it, including everything else that they had before. Uh, 2000, this, this is, I feel like, when I started really liking WRXs because I used to see these in like this 
this weird yellow and I loved this color. So they added a CD radio, they added like STI instruments in there and a couple of like other things like, um, again, they're still numbered but they had 300 this time. So it's really interesting as you go, you go through the years, each year had its own club spec leading all the way to 2012 with a, which actually a really nice looking wide body S, uh, WRX with this black wing and this gold uh, or this orange coloring. Actually, that looks really cool. If I had seen that, I probably would have bought that. Now, what's interesting here is, did they add anything else? No. Mm, I was wondering if any of them added anything from an STI, but it looks like it's just, it's just a slightly, not I don't wanna say souped up, but just like a WRX with a little bit extra creature covers, but a somewhat unique look that makes it stand out from other WRXs. Now, obviously what's happening here in uh, Australia with the newest one, the unique look here is gonna be the STI wing. So you obviously are gonna have, if you have a WRX from 23 or 22, you don't get that wing, unless you, of course you buy it from the many vendors that sell it. This is gonna be a one piece wing that comes from the factory. I look forward to seeing what the price on that is. I think the price currently, if you, if you went and got a VA, I think it was like $800 or something for a paint match one, which is, it's not bad to get something from the factory and obviously have them install it. So here they are only selling 150 of these. So even less than what they had before. Uh, previous models did actually come with a hatch version as well, but we don't have it. And I haven't seen them, even though Australia does have the WRX TS in a hatch, they have not announced the TS or a TR hatch, which I feel like they probably won't do. Um, I would be surprised. Subaru hasn't been the best at reading the room lately, so I think the sedan is it. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you found this informative and you guys down in Australia, I'm jealous as I always am. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Before you go, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hitting that subscribe button costs you guys nothing and it gains me everything. Uh, I try to provide as much entertainment and information as possible, whether you're looking at my racing series, Vehicular Acceleration Testing, or you're looking at Tuner Talk, which is actually a great series for newcomers and veterans. My only goal is to try to make the VB community better, and I can't do that without your help. Thank you.